Let's be positive. Matt Gunn, always being positive. Warriors' worst end of the end of the season. How can we be positive about that? Positive about the All Blacks. Positive about Twizel, mate. Come on. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. No negativity. Let's be positive. LVP. Let's be positive. Matt, it's always a pleasure, mate. Welcome to the show. Before we get on to any kind of sport, I know that you had a big night out. Uh, you were hosting the Sports Awards Saturday night, and you're such a good man. You do it for a few ambers. You don't even charge any cash. But what happened to the beer? Yeah, Martin, I did. I do. I do. It's a community service I perform. Right. That's the beauty of being in a small town. There's not many good MCs. So they asked me to do it all. The first year they gave me wine, yes. I said, I've got to give that to my wife, so let's just do beer next time. Mm-hmm. So that's what they've done the last few times. Well, I get to the end of the night, been socialising, having a wonderful time. I go back to grab my bag when the bar's shut, grab my box of, uh, what did they buy me? It was quality too, Wellington Panhead. Oh, there you go, Panhead. A panhead, yeah. rat rot- panhead rat rot. Yeah, no, fantastic, I love them. Gone. Yeah. What? So, you know, God, you, know you know, when you've left something somewhere, yeah. you, you, you've left it there, you know you've left it there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to taking it home. Mm-hmm. I get there, it's gone, and I look around for three or four minutes, thinking I might find oh, it. Oh, no, it's over there. Because, you know, it's like when you lose your car, or you get car stolen, you're thinking, oh, where do I park yeah. the thing? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 in, yeah. In, in a big car park or something yeah. in St. Luke's, you don't know where you've parked. No, you don't know where you park, mate. No. You know, you get disorientated, and you, you can't find it. Well, anyway, so I look around the room, and down in the back corner... Here's a bunch of hoods, a bunch of retrobates. Yes. And what do I see on the table? Panhead rat rod. <laughs> so I stroll down there. Yes. I stroll down to the back corner to have a little conversation about the theft of my payment for the night. Mm. And who's leading these hoods and retrobates? Tracy Gunn. Oh, you're joking. Tracy the deputy Gunn. chair of the community board, your wife. Tracy Gunn. She's taken with a bunch of rat bags, my payment for the night. Well, they all said I did a good job. Yeah, you did a great job, I man. Said, well, you could have left the beer for me. <laughs> Was it you not... know what I'm saying? What a slap in the face. Well, you better... What a slap in the face. Okay, so but you, you... I've, been promised, I've been promised that they'll be returned at yeah, some point, but right. I don't believe that for yeah, a okay. second. Hey, well, look, I tell you what's been making, making promises. The Warriors are promising that next year's going to be better. How can it not, you losers? Well, <laughs> hey, how do you lose that game? Finishing on a high. Remember what they said last week? We're going to finish on a high at Mount Smart. We've got the alumni there. We've got all the old players there. I mean, let's be positive about it, Matt. How did they finish on a high, mate? Well, I mean, the beauty of it, Martin, being positive, which is what this is all about it's on all a Monday, about, reviving know. people's spirits That's from the it. weekend, is they were within a point. Yes. Well done. You know, they got within a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, what a way to finish the season. In fact, I don't think it could be worse, could it? Getting that close to delivering one final result to build up into next year's premiership winning season, minor premiers, major premiers. And they get beaten by the Titans, just, who the then Titans. hop, skip and jump over, <laughs> over them, them on the yeah, table as well I know. on four and against. Yeah. Can you even believe it? How disappointing was that? Look, one positive that's come out, of the Warriors' season this year. Is? It's over. They came no, home. They, 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 they so, came oh, okay, they came home. Hey, but it's meant, to, it's meant to be... I've changed it now. It's meant to be Fortress Mount Smart. It's now called Mount Dumb because that's what Stacey and Tulu said afterwards, okay? <laughs> so it's now Mount Dumb. That's where they play. They play at Mount Stupid, all right? Also reading news today, a quote from Sean Johnson, if his mind and body's ready to go, why would he retire? Oh, thanks, Sean. So there's a thanks, leader Shawnee. for next year. Yeah, there we go, Sean. Yeah, that's brilliant, mate. So the Warriors' worst ever Is defensive it? season, most points conceded, 700 points conceded. Okay, no other team conceded that. That's 28 a game, won two of the last 16. Stacey won two of nine. At least your dogs did finish on a high. We've got to celebrate that. Oh, and a one-point victory too. Just to kind of rub salt into the Warriors' wounds, the doggies get up by a drop goal. Yeah just before full time. You know, I was so disappointed with the game, the way the game was going, that I went online, I started trolling people. I started trolling other dogs fans. There was a guy I saw conversing with his mate saying, they're going to bring one of the Warriors games to the regions and we've got to go. 
Wouldn't it be great to play the dogs? And I said, why would you want the Warriors in the Two of the, the worst, worst teams, teams in the competition. <laughs> that's right. And that's what you've got to look forward you to. Want to. Please, it's not anything to look forward to. What you want to do is reject no. that. What you want to do is actually see this one. I want the, the, that to me. The, what Take that game to Tamuka and no one turn up. That was, that's what both teams deserve. Zero spectators. No one turn up at there'd all. Be, there'd, be more, there'd be more supporters at a... Lawn bowls match in Tamuka than there would be for rugby league. I can tell you that much, Mark. Okay, you've been there a few times, and it's a great little town. All right, to uh, stop in and see your mother-in-law. Okay, and that's about it. Let's that's be positive. It. I think mean, they're going to go to Napier, but anyway, what the dogs and the warriors at Napier? That is the highlight of many warriors next year. Yeah, I thought you are kidding. You've got to be joking me, eh? Come on. Let's come be on. positive. Resurrection Distillery bring us Matt Gunn, Jumpy's Facebook, Resurrection Distillery. Let's be positive about the Foster. I liked seeing the guy, you know, the look on Ian Foster's face over the last couple of weeks. This is serious, mate. You know, I, I you know, having gone through a little bit of a pile on from the mass media, the stress involved mm. and what's going on in that guy's body and his face and everything else, and you sit and think, take the 10 million bucks, mate. Do you really need this in your life? Because... Even if he gets through to the World Cup next year, you know he's it, the the public opinion isn't going to change about he's going to wear it from now till then. But to see him happy, banging the table with his fist, doing some really weird handshakes with the rest of the coaches, I loved every second of it, mate. I thought if anyone in New Zealand deserves a smile tonight, it's that guy. You know, it's all well and good to um, sit back and um, have a bit of a laugh, a bit, a bit critical about people. But it's been very personal for this guy. Yeah. It's not just about the results of the team. And, you know, one of the things that I think the two of us do is we base it on what we see in terms of the job that's supposed to be delivered, right? Yeah, I You agree. get paid to play rugby league, tackle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, 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 you get paid to play rugby Scrummage, yeah, whatever it is, and 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 you don't get paid to be on Facebook and show your watch off. You get paid to play, yeah. But Foster's the coach, and it's been so personal about this guy, even to the extent of how he looks, his physicality, yeah. And um, no, I felt great for him. Yeah, I felt great for him because there's no need to sink that low. You you, you know what I'm saying? The beauty of being a coach and the disaster of sometimes being a coach is that as much as you can do your best through the week, you're also judged on the results of the players that do or don't show up. And to be judged by the All Blacks who have been so up and down in the manner he has, I mean, it look, just seems a little you, bit you know, too much. You know, so this is the thing. Okay, so... <laughs> Well, here, so against South Africa at Nelspruit, the All Blacks were physically weak. You know, we had our pants pulled down. I remember saying afterwards that I thought that they bitch slapped us is what they did. You know, and for want of a better term, and I, I, I invoked a term the young people use. I said we needed to front up in the next game wearing something pink and lacy because that's what they made us. They made us absolutely look you know, just second rate. And then we turned around and we muscle up in Joburg. Then we come back to Argentina to play Argentina and Christchurch, and they just walk all over us, right? And and then all of a sudden, a week later, the team turns around and gets all physical again, and, and there's hands slapping and smacking, and it gets push and shove and all of that kind of stuff. And I'm reading an article by Pat McKendry on One News on their website saying, how the Jason Ryan's transformed the All Blacks into a tough unit. Well, no, no, no. A minute ago... A minute ago, we were the Warriors Ford Pack. That's what happened in Christchurch. <laughs> so, you know, look, Matt, all I'm thinking about this game, buddy, is that the positive thing for me is simply that as a sports fan, and you know because you support crap teams like I do, that when you win and you win well, you've got to at least allow yourself the joy and the pleasure of that, don't you, for that night, maybe the next day, maybe till they crap all over your head again. I don't know. But you've at least got to allow yourself that. Well, you saw me celebrating a couple of decent games by the Bulldogs in a row. I've celebrated Wallabies' wins, and I've been through a couple of defeats, like a game this week. Yeah. Beat South Africa, they beat us. Beat England, they beat us. You've got to ride the wave. If not for the good times, why do you even take part in? Because for well, most because I'm inadequate teams, as a person, mate. That's why. You know why. It's only bad. Because my personality is so... This is weaknesses in me is why I like sport, Matt. That's why. Same as you. Because I don't have a life, mate. Well, you've got to have something to enjoy yourself during. 
Well, that's and that's not... normally a game of football. <laughs> It's you know, be. I mean, I love it. I love it. I do. I ride the ups and downs. If you can't stick with the team um, through that, you're in the wrong area. Go and play cards or something. Yeah. yeah. You know, mm. play a game of chance. Because if you can't be down, when you win, how do you feel it to the same level of joy that you do when you finally start making the turnaround. I know. And for these guys that write about it, man, I know it's their job. They're writing about it. They're writing about it all week. They've got to be serious. And, we, you know, I know you talk about it, the editors, and they want this and they want that, and the clickbait headlines and that. But how can you be so miserable yeah. all the time? I know. I know. Yeah? Can't you just say, fantastic. Yeah, well done, all that. Like a one-point win to finish Fifth off the bottom of the table for the Bulldogs <laughs> you, was enough to lift my spirit. <laughs> there you go. Hey, finally. You know, that, that's what it's about, that's right? That's what it's about. Finally, spring, we celebrated spring last week. Mate, we have got howling rain. We've got snow down to 400 in Wellington and 500 in the South Island. Please don't tell me that spring lasted a couple of days at your place and we're back in winter. But that's what I'm hoping for. No, I'm in a, I'm in a puffer jacket again today, Martin. It's absolutely <laughs> freezing. Wind coming in from the South. <laughs> A couple of days. Well, I mean, it's been sunny. Yeah, it's been sunny, but you need gloves on down here. <laughs> I just said to I, I just said to Lachlan. I, I, I think we've had our spring and summer already. That was it last week. When oh, I got my don't shorts say, on. Oh, please don't say that, mate. Look, yeah, Ed, listen. Before you do dump me off, I know yeah. you've got things to do. Before you dump me off, yeah. I just want to. I just want to put a shout out. Yeah. To Jody Brown. Okay, I know Jody Brown. This was Jody Tahuna. Uh, was it Tahuna before? Tahuna, previously. That's it, yeah. Jody Go Tahuna. Go on, Jody. Like you Jody. know, it makes me feel very insignificant when I stand next to these sort of things at the bar, getting a crook neck, looking up at them. Huge. Yep. Very, very tall. She was the guest speaker, and she was self-depreciating, and she told some wonderful stories. And not only that, she holidays down here in Twizel. And you know, one of the highlights of my week, Martin, mm -hmm. was having a chat with Jody. She remembers the old program, oh, the old good. team. Oh, go on, mate. Go on. Brilliant. But you know what else? What's that? We connected, Martin. Brilliant. We connected. Brilliant. And she holidays down here with a number of former Silver Ferns, Brilliant. friends of her. Yep. And you know what we did? Oh, good we on made me. a date for Resurrection Distillery over the summer. Oh, I've fair, booked the former mate. Ferns go in. Go on, go on. I've booked the former Ferns in for a tour at some stage over the next few months. Yep. And I'm absolutely delighted and I'm looking forward to oh, it. Oh, that's brilliant news. And oh, that's great. she gave great. a massive shout-out to Dame Nolene. Yep. She said she's probably one of the best ever. And you know what? She was dead right. So thanks to Jody Brown for the other Good night. Yeah. I can't wait to see you and the girls over summer. And I'll call them the girls because she said we holiday down here with the girls. That's all I need to know, mate. That's absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you so much. Being positive out of Twizel, as he always is.